So my recording program kind of screwed up for a little bit, and we found out where that thing was meant to go is actually one of our Coat Check Girls little organization things. So we sent that to her, and she had Lola's jacket in there on that recording thing. So that recording thing on the jacket thing, and within Lola's jacket was this was this little scrap of paper that I figured out once you take here. I don't think that would you don't want to go in there. I haven't. That you still can't go in here when you take it here. Again, just one. Wind pierces my hull. An iceberg. A needle. Sweet, whispered nothings. Sail tonight. A storm. This deathbed harbor by love's rusty anchor. Forever moored. I'm not sure what that means. Thanks. <laughs> so, which I then. Uh, again, while trying to record, and then I got like two frames. I took this to the uh, guy who captains the limbo, and I got no help there. So then I decided, hmm, I'm gonna take it. Well, he said something about the shipmaster, no, dockmaster, and apparently the guy who does the tattoos is the dockmaster. So I decided we would take it to him. Did I go the right way? I, yeah, okay, it's just a long walk. So I decided to take it to him, and then... This walk is a lot longer than I remembered. Also, there's some, like, weird animation as you crawl into this. It kind of sucks. This c <laughs> probably cut, like, a whole episode off the series, which, I mean, is good for you. But it it doesn't really give the, the genuine experience. Also, we have to go back into the snoring. I hate the snoring in here. It's just so loud and obnoxious. It, like, pierces through everything else on the audio track. And are we going to get in there? Definitely. There we go. We still don't have it out, so let's grab that. And please get out of here as fast as possible. I after, shed any light on things. after it does shed light on things. You said that. I don't think that would shed any light hey. on things. Hey. I don't think that would shed any light it on things. It does, though. Guts. Oh, my God. This game... Makes me want to cry. Point and click. How did people do it? I don't it? think that would be exactly okay. that quality time. No. So, what happened after. Ah, uh, hang on. There second. we go. Does this mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure. It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see. Uh, number 30. Harmin Sedge, Harmin Skeptor, Harmin... Ah, 36. Here. Hey, what is this? ba 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 There we go. <laughs> that took long enough. My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. Uh-huh. Hey! Okay. Velasco! Many. Do you mind? <laughs> Artists do work oh, you're here. kidding me. <laughs> I didn't know that happened. So, you'd think it'd be the picture that Lola took that we've been needing this entire Looks time. Like these cats but scruff nope. And scruff. <laughs> Not neck and neck, they're scruff and scruff. So, what? Oh! The top right! I didn't notice that last time. Marry me, Olivia. Is Olivia the name of the other girl? Um. Uh, Possibly? Hmm. There's two sixes there. What else? Six. Six plus six is twelve. Six divided by four is three. Illuminati confirmed. No, but that's not what we need. There's got to be something else in this picture I'm not seeing. I think it, it's got to be the Marry Me Olivia. So, I... Oh, please don't make me go back in there. Please... Oh, God damn it. Okay, so I'm thinking... Either this is the picture we need... And or we can take it to the blimp person. But oh, I'm still... I believe it. I'm still... Hmm, who else do we have to work with here? I'll take it to the blue cast it and see if uh, that lady has anything to help us with there. Maybe she can give us the backstory of the picture? Hopefully. I don't know. Let's see if this will help me. I thought, because I'm around here, might as well check in with her. I don't think her. shed any light on things. Oh, we can go back here. I didn't think we could, but I guess not. Things do look bad, but this jump wouldn't do the trick, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, 
Alright, so that's probably something with the cats later. Uh, what can we click on back here? Where we got to go? Where we got to go? These lockers have a note on them. Employees, I don't care who's doing it, but please stop using the contained detonation chamber <laughs> for open walnuts. Thank you. Nice. Can we open Not this up? That up? They're locked. They're lockers. They're locked. They're lockers. Uh, I get it. Uh, there's no way in hell this key would also work here. Uh, I still have that base they're full. I forgot. This key doesn't work there. Okay. That's what I thought. Maybe we found the universal key, the key to the universe. That is not the joke I was going for, but I guess it went there. Hmm. This is the closest connection we have to the the LOL. Uh hmm. and there's nothing back here. Can we click on any of this desktop? That's official paperwork. I feel like that's what we need to get to. But uh we need metal somehow, like, in Lodge. Metal, like, right inside of us. Hmm. I'll take it to the blue casket like I was planning to do. But now we know we have access to that area back there, which gives us a little more leniency. Wait, can I get a not picking that up on the blimp? Let's see. Also, I don't know where he's walking to. Not to get picking that, that up. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Beautiful. the new blimp is already in full operation. Let's just hope they fill it with something non-flammable this time. I don't think that would shed God any light on God damn it, okay. Hey, I'm bone dry. Just begin again at the... Really? Okay. No. Uh, no. Why? Why? <laughs> Let me out of this eternal hell. That would... Yeah. Okay. Well, keep practicing. Who would that picture mean? Hey, did I ever touch some boy? These boys. I don't think that would shed. I don't think that would shed okay. any light on things. My next guest is the guy who's gonna give us the union card. Cause he's like a bookie type of guy. Maybe that would mean something to him. Maybe he'd be able to tell us about the race. Looks like there's a does the camera cut again? Yeah, it looks like there's a very animated bottle of liqueur over here. Hmm. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine <gasps> liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Nothing but the best for my customers. My rich customers. Yes, that's what we need to drink. Yes, I better take this with me. For safekeeping. For the, for the metal, uh, so we get through the metal detector, but how do we, can we just like, swig some of this? There's got to be a, an option. Just well, maybe like... just a sip. Ah. Hmm. So I'm assuming we take that to Ugh. the thing. We have the metal inside us, and then we can look at the official documents that'll tell us who put up that sign. All right, we're getting somewhere, sort of, kind of. 